So I just want to make a quick video about Boolean algebra and programming and uh, how useful of a tool it can be. A lot of software is based on certain conditions that have to be met that then executes different code than if those conditions weren't met, right? And what you can do with a lot of uh, binary operators, right, like and or or xor, those types of things, is that you could essentially uh, manipulate variables or different data structures in whatever program you're making to either always like constantly execute the same instructions instead of having to check a bunch of different conditions or it could check less conditions and execute those same instructions right and this is kind of related to branchless programming which you might have heard of and it's basically a way to write code so that instead of having a bunch of if else statements you essentially just set variables equal to or you manipulate them using logical arguments logical boolean arguments right so um so like if you want to set some variable to a specific number d depending on a certain condition you could say if this condition is met then x equals 50 or whatever or you could say x equals 50 times that specific condition and what happens is that when that uh, condition is evaluated, it will be a 1 or a 0, right? So if you say 50 times this condition, you're saying 50 times 1 or 0. If the condition is true, then it's going to be 50 times 1, so x would be equal to 50. If it's false, it would be 50 times 0, so x would be equal to 0, right? And obviously, like, in certain cases, like, uh, it's, like, dependent on what the assembly is produced by your specific compiler. There could be trade-offs between memory usage or computation speed, things like that, but like, and sometimes it's just really hard to read, so sometimes it's not worth it in that case, but it's still pretty fun to manipulate variables using uh, like logical arguments, almost like, it sort of feels like you're writing like a mathematical proof in a way, right? Instead of, I mean, obviously like writing a bunch of if statements is sometimes easier to read and easier to maintain, but if you're just working on your own personal projects, which is what, like, the only thing I do, that, um, like, I use a lot of, uh, a lot of these types of statements in my code, right? And I feel like it's sort of a thing that, I don't know, maybe it's something that a lot of, like, us people who write code in assembly or have written assembly code before do, because in assembly, you use binary arithmetic or binary operators a lot more than you do in higher level languages. Like, like say for example you want to clear out a register to zero, right? Instead of um, like just saying this is equal to zero, which you can, you can just move AEX comma zero, right? Just moving zero into AEX. Or you can XOR AEX by AEX and essentially setting the entire register to zero because what XOR does, it takes, compares two values if they're different or no, it compares two bits, and if they're different, then uh, the bit is set to 1. If they're the same, it sets to 0. So if you take two values, which bits are completely equal to each other, then uh, it's just going to be a 1 to 1 match, so it's going to be 0 every single time, right? And I believe it's even faster than moving a 0 into a register on complex instruction sets, if I believe, but I could be wrong about that. Also, a lot of condition checking and assembly is dependent on uh, arithmetic operations. So, like, if you add a number and it overflows, or if, uh, like, you know, depending on whether or not it's signed or not, it'll set certain flags that you could use to go to different jump labels in the code to execute different parts of the code, right? And um, even, like, certain, like, if you, like, write assembly assembly, like, a lot of the times you're not even going to use, like, the multiply or divide operations because you have to set up the registers in a specific way so that you're, okay, the, this is here and this argument is here, so the result's going to be an AEX and I take that and do this. Oftentimes it's just easier to, like, if you're multiplying or dividing in powers of two, you could just use the bit shift operators to say, okay, I want to multiply this by two, I'm just going to bit shift it. Uh, left by one and it's going to be twice as what it was before right so maybe it's just something that it's something that you see a lot more in assembly code but even in higher level languages you could still use it i think it's pretty fun to do especially when it uh, actually benefits your code and makes it cleaner to read which um 
I'll, I'll throw like an example because it, it's something I did specifically uh, like recently that um, inspired this little like tangent so I'll probably just have that on screen but you know sometimes you can't go too overboard with it because it might produce some weird assembly code if you're compiling it that uh, causes some glitch or something especially if like you turn on optimization then a lot of those branchless statements or a lot of those logical arguments you make with boolean statements are gonna end up causing small errors or weird different glitches that you might see uh, you, you could probably see with like an assembly debugger but no, all the code that I write is just in vanilla vim and like a terminal. Like I, using a debugger is kind of extra to me and I, I don't really feel I'm too lazy to have that set up in like my development environment, but uh, it's just like a small um, tangent I want to make on Boolean algebra and how um, it's like the best part of programming. It's definitely a lot better than doing fucking doing like meta programming shit and like C++ or uh, like trying to connect some library that you aren't able to connect or you know linker errors or whatever the fuck right like stuff like that is just kind of like it's not even a part of the logic of the program most of the time so it's not even like you know it's just like annoying to deal with you know but yeah that's the end of the video